listen to you guys here, Elise? Um, Elise, I would say pretty much every day. Uh, I don't know, at least five times a week. I do go there on daily basis, uh, every night. As part of it, monitoring the place and making sure everything is fine. And part of it, having fun with my friends. Funny enough, um, Elise was my first real experience of Oshisha. And, you know, five years later, I'm still going on a weekly basis. My name is Hussein Fatil. My family name is Fatil, F A T E E L. Um, I am 34 years old now. I grew up in Bahrain. I'm originally Bahraini. Shisha is a kind of uh, smoke, uh, it's a tobacco on uh, different flavors uh, it's like uh, apple, banana, uh, strawberry, different tastes. Uh, it comes originally, uh, it's, it's very historical and originally it comes from Turkey where Turkey was at that time occupying Egypt, Syria and uh, some part of Iraq and uh, Lebanon and part of Jordan and, and Saudi. Uh, they bring that culture to, uh, to the people where they're smoking that shisha. And slowly, slowly they become uh, uh, preparing it on different flavors, different fruits. Uh, until Egyptians uh, took it and start developing it. I'm Muhammad Akram Ahmed. I'm a boy, 25. Where are you Bangladesh. Bangladesh is a very good place. I'm a very good place. Do you like to live in the country or the country? I like to live in the country. Why? I like to live in the country. আপনি আমাদের বলতে পারবেন যে কে কে কাজ করে ওদের নাম আর এরা ওই নাম ফার্স্ট ভাই আছে বড় ভাই এদের নাম প্রথম হলো তৈসির বাদে নাসির বাদে রশিদ জাফর বাদে আমার তালতো ভাই একটা আছে মোহাম্মদ ফয়সাল আহমেদ আর বড় ভাই জামাই একটা আছে ফারুক আপনার আলিজিতে কাজ করার সবচেয়ে মানে কি পছন্দ করেন ওখানে কাজ করতে ওখানে খাস করতে ওটাই বেশি পছন্দ লাগে যে সব ফ্রেন্ড হিসাবে কাজ করি আচ্ছা সো ভবিষ্যতের জন্য আপনার কি প্ল্যান আছে ভবিষ্যতের জন্য আর জরুরি দশ বছর তো আমি বাড়ি বাদে দেশে গিয়ে বিজনেস করব ব্যাস আপনি বাড়ি যান নেই কয় কতদিন হয়ে গেছে বাড়ি যাইনি প্রায় চার বছর আচ্ছা তো আপনি কি মিস করেন সবাইরে সবাইরে অনেক বেশি মিস করি কারে সবচেয়ে বেশি মিস করেন সবচেয়ে বেশি মিস করি আমার মারে আচ্ছা could you tell me how Alize started? Yes, Alize, uh, actually myself and my friend who's a partner with me in Alize, we were uh, I just graduated from school, from university, and then we start hanging around, uh, going to coffee shops here and there. One night, the coffee shop we used to go to, the manager is Egyptian, he says, uh, from now on, you can't stay here until you order, a minimum order is one BD. So I was thinking with my friend, why can't we open a coffee shop and stay at the time we want? and we pay what, what uh, the, the money we want. So he said, it's a brilliant idea. But how we started, we, we, we just started working, we have no money. So I said, don't worry, there's a bank, we can take a loan. You take part of it, I'll take part of it. I'll go ahead. We start looking in the, in the advertisements. We found the location, 
somebody who want to sell that uh, shop. We immediately went to him, it was at night. We went to him in his office and we immediately pay him the money. That all what we have. And then my friend says, okay, we pay what we have, then what's next? The, the, the place has to be maintained, has to uh, be prepared for a coffee shop. I said, don't worry. Tomorrow we'll go to the bank, we'll ask for a loan. That's what we did. And all the f my family members, friends, close friends says, you will fail in this project because of the location. You, you are in the middle of uh, uh, car workshops. Nobody will come and, uh, and visit you. I said, okay, this is my challenge. I'll take it. I am Daniel Lowen and I am now 23 years old. So I was actually born way out in um, in a very small country called Brunei. It's near Arab Malaysia, but since then I've been in uh, England, Abu Dhabi, and now here Bahrain. I'm a, a golfing professional, and I'm actually the uh, Royal Golf Club's brand ambassador. So I technically represent the name whenever I travel and play in Asia. I also tour the Arab Middle East, and I do um, occasionally try and venture out to the UK as well. What I like about Elise, um, I guess, I guess sort of nowadays, you know, that now that things are starting to get quite expensive, I think that price-wise, I don't think you can really argue with it. I mean, it's in sort of the grand scheme of things, it's nothing at the end of the day. And when you like compare it to other shisha places that are on the island, it's not even in the same bracket. But funny enough, it's it is the better shisha that's on the island as well. So I guess I can't really say it's that either location wise it's it's pretty convenient it's in a very isolated area and it's out of the way of everything and it's actually quite peaceful where it is really i mean even though it's technically on a highway it's extremely convenient for those that live in Saab, Badea, and even people that live in Adlia. it's actually it's actually not a bad drive to get there i mean i actually live out here in Awali and that's a good 20 30 minute drive but it's worth it Could you tell me what, where the name Elise comes from and what it means? Yeah, the, the year we started uh, working on that Elise coffee shop, uh, the same year that a very close friend family, a uh, French family, uh, left uh, from Bahrain. And they are, they are like, like my family, they are not, not only friends. And the little girl, a very uh, maybe four or five years old girl, uh, she's a very uh, uh, funny girl. Uh, she's a daughter of my friend. Her name is Alize. So for her, we decided to call the coffee shop as Alize. My name is Mamboon Sheikh and I am 22 years old. Bahrain, with, the, with it being a very small uh, 
island. There's not that much to do. It's usually the same story, you know, to go to this coffee shop or that coffee shop. For me, usually, like you can see, we're playing football today. That's like, do that twice a week. And then shisha pretty much every other day and movies and a few parties here and there. That's pretty much it. If you're new to the country, it's hard to find things to do. But once you've lived here for a while, you kind of get set with what's going on and then you can find stuff to your liking. How has Alize developed over the years, do you think? Well, we started uh, working ourselves, myself and my friend, and we started serving and inviting our friends only until one of the coffee shops we, are, we, we used to go to there. The labors, we came to know that the labors, they are uh, upset and they don't want to stay with the uh, owner of that coffee shop anymore. So I went to meet them and they said, okay, but we will come one after another. Not all of us at the same time, because the guy here is treating us very badly and even sometimes beating us. I was really surprised. So I called them, please come and work from tomorrow if you want. And that's how they came, uh, the, the, the group of the people that I have now. Apnar J Malik, Tar Pepper, Tar Apnar Kamon. I wasn't a regular till I only started going from January and uh, I go there pretty much every other day, every day and I see the same faces. Once or twice, there's some new people, and everyone realizes that there's someone new. But you can tell who the locals are, and there's they're all the same people there, pretty much every day. Long time regular customers. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them. Some of them come from Citra which is far away, you know. It's about uh, 18 to 20 kilometers, but for Bahrain, it's far distance. Uh, they come on a daily basis.